Just a few days ago, I attended the All In Summit in Los Angeles, California. In addition to the incredible people I met, there were some of the most fantastic speakers with incredible content. Over a series of videos, I wanna share some of my key insights from this awesome roster of speakers. Today, I'm gonna to talk about Vinod Kosla. He is a venture capitalist and business person. With that in mind, let's dive in. Vinod Kosla was one of my favorite speakers. I loved how he was very forthcoming with information and his perspective on what's going on in 2023. During his presentation, he offered incredible insights on a range of topics. So I'll do my best to summarize some of the key findings and the things that I found very interesting. Vinod Kosla covered so many different topics in his presentation at the All In Summit. He talked about everything from artificial intelligence to the future of artificial intelligence, to the role of venture capital in shaping innovation, and also about how the world will look and job displacement when it comes to work automation. Kosla began by discussing the nature of venture capitalists or VCs, noting that they are often politically hypocritical rather than being brutally honest. This candid observation basically set the stage for the rest of the discussion. In fact, David Freeberg shared a little anecdote about his personal experience and why he chose Kosla to be one of the investors in his company. Kosla referred to a statement that he made back in 2000, so over 20 years ago. In this statement, he observed that artificial intelligence or AI would likely redefine what it actually means to be human. He acknowledged that the timeline for AI's development does remain uncertain, but he did acknowledge that the capabilities of AI will be nothing short of phenomenal. He illustrated this by mentioning his involvement in two different artificial companies, both of which are founded by and currently being ran by members of his family. One of these is an artificial intelligence tutor and this is a project that his wife is working on. And the second is an artificial physician, which is something that his son is focused on. Both of these highlight the transformative nature in areas that are traditionally reserved for human experts, such as education and healthcare. A central concern that Kosla addressed is the potential displacement of human jobs by artificial intelligence. Now, this isn't anything new. This has been talked about for a long time. In fact, I even was on a podcast back in my days at CoreLogic where we talked about just this thing. Regardless, he speculated that over the next two or three decades, many jobs would be automated, leading to the disappearance of those drudgery tasks. Just a few years ago, probably five plus, when you crossed over the Golden Gate Bridge, there used to be someone who would actually take your payment. Now it is completely automated. There are no more humans taking your money over the bridge. Now, some may say, oh, that's technology displacing a job and income for a human. However, it is more efficient and that isn't to say that other jobs weren't created by taking those jobs away. They weren't skills-based jobs and those are the particular jobs that we're less likely to see or what Kosla called drudgery tasks that are employing humans going forward. The shift he noted could become politically and socially messy and be a trigger for a deeper discussion around a universal base income or UBI. He also tied this back to how it would impact human motivation and creativity. Kosla also expressed a hawkish stance on China and emphasized the interconnectivity of democracy and capitalism, emphasizing that permission for capitalism can be revoked if economic disparities are not addressed. He further discussed the need to increase economic efficiencies to bridge disparities. And he touched on the challenges associated with a universal base income and emphasized the importance of channeling people's passions to avoid idle minds. A great example of this is where you see a lot of economic disparity and these idle minds can often lead to impatience, leading to political upheaval and often wars. Kosla is an investor in OpenAI, and he talked a little bit about his decision to invest in this platform. Not only did he talk about his investment in AI, but also the importance of other players like Google in this space. He highlighted the importance of multiple players and diverse approaches when building out this technology. He discussed the significance of probabilistic programming and multi-agent systems indicating that the future of AI development lies in many various unexplored avenues. In his assessment of the state of venture capital, Kosla pointed out that large companies and enterprises 
have not been the foundation of innovation over the past few years. Instead, he stressed that innovation typically comes from smaller, more agile groups, businesses, and people. He cited examples like Tesla and Airbnb. Kosla also talked a little bit about transportation. Now, something that most people don't know is that I am a huge advocate and believer of public transportation. As someone who has tried to and has taken public transportation over the course of their life, I believe that this is going to be something hugely impactful to making especially more American cities livable. So when he started talking about public transportation, my ears definitely perked up and here are the few things that he said that really stuck with me. One of the main areas he focused on was talking about traffic. And I mean, who doesn't hate traffic? No matter where you live, you think your traffic is the worst. Well, he talked about how we potentially can address this using on-demand, point-to-point -point transportation like small pods that are autonomous. Outside of transportation, he emphasized that often investors can play on their emotions like fear and greed, which underpins the importance of not just the valuation, but also market timing. In conclusion, Vinod Kosla's presentation at the All In Summit was incredible. He touched around multiple topics, including how artificial intelligence or AI is going to impact us, the state of venture capital, and how more automation is going to change our world from both a social and an economic perspective. Overall, his candid observations and his vision offered all of us who attended a valuable foundation and a wealth of ideas to consider.